I make sure it's set to the bombs. To the bombs. That part. Hey, welcome back to my channel, LaShonda Capri. Okay, as you can see by the title and in today's video, I'm going to be doing the one dip challenge. I have not done a challenge in quite some time now, but I saw that Nikki Tutorials did a video doing the one dip challenge, and the challenge is originally done by L'Oreal 9 to 5. I think I got her name correctly. She did it like two years ago. And I seen that Nikki did it and then she tagged James Charles to do it and I absolutely love their challenge, how the videos came out. So I thought, hey, I have not done a challenge in a while. So I'm ready to take on this challenge. I want to do it. As you know, I am no professional at all when it comes to makeup. Makeup is a form of art for me. I love it. I like dressing up. I like being able to learn how to do makeup and you know, just makeup in general. So I am going to attempt to do this challenge now. I don't know how I'm about to do this because I only get one dip of literally everything. Oh my God. One dip of eyeshadow. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because for eyeshadow for me, you need to apply a lot of eyeshadow. So I'm like really pumped to do this challenge. I wanna see how it's gonna turn out and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and dibble and dabble into this challenge. I'm not gonna hold you guys up. If you are not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thumbs up this video. And let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I already have a clean face. My face is clean and everything like that. We are going to have fun with this challenge and I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my primer. Now, for primer, I use all different types of primer and I don't really know what primer I wanna use for this video right now. For a primer, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Primer Hydro Touch Oil Primer. Now this has like a little Doppler in here, like that. So I'm just gonna dip this like that because I need to just press the button to be able to get it. So I'm just gonna press the button one time and whatever comes on, that's all I get. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> oh my God. Like there's nothing on here. My little one dip, it do nothing for me. Okay, y'all, that's literally it. That's literally all I get. So I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. I definitely would have like a little bit more <laughs> primer than that. But this is gonna have to do. OMG. This is not the primer you use. You should not use, I shouldn't use this primer because this definitely, a little bit does not go a long way. <laughs> okay, I got my primer on. Let's move on. Time to move on to foundation now. This is really about to be a little hectic for me because it's foundation, y'all. One one squirt, one dip of foundation. <sighs> okay, so okay, 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 okay. Think, think. There's really nothing to think about because I literally only get one squirt. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be taking my foundation in the color 34 Pecan by Flesh. So let's go ahead and do this one little squirt. Actually, you know what? I was gonna do it on a sponge, but I'm gonna do it on my hand. So let's see. Oh, shoot. Y'all. Really? <laughs> Look at that. OMG. OMG. All right, we're gonna make it do what it do. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just going to try to make this work. Okay, flesh coming through, coming through, coming through. Y'all, I still got a little bit on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got a little bit left. We're gonna see, we're gonna start blending that in and see if we can make that work. Okay, so far, so good. Ooh, I might just need just a tad bit more, but I got a little bit left on my hand that I'm just gonna save just in case. Okay, this might have worked. 
I got a little bit left in my hand. I don't know where I want to use it. Where do I want to use it? Let's put it up in here. Okay. I don't know if this is the best coverage, but I think that spread on pretty good. That one squirt, it did okay. Okay, this is it, y'all. Look what that one dip did. Okay, you know, I'm satisfied. I could have used a little bit more, but hey, beggars can't be choosy. So yeah, now I'm going to move on to concealer. Now, I just started using this new concealer by Milani. It is in the color Warm Almond 170. If you're looking for an affordable concealer, I would say Milani Conceal Plus Perfect is a great price. I think I only played about under four bucks or four bucks for this. So yeah, so basically you only get to use, okay, okay. Let's try to work with it. Let's 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 see. That's not a lot, but um, we're gonna make it work. Okay, I'm getting you know a good little coverage here. I always do around here on my chin, on my forehead. Oh my God, it's running out. And just a little bit on my nose. Ooh. I'm trying to use all the product, y'all. All the product. Y'all, look at that. Okay, Milani came through for me. Came through for me. That little one little dip did your girl something. All right, let's go ahead and blend in this concealer. Okay, okay. Okay, this is blending out really good so far. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I took out my nose rings. I did not want those to get in the way of uh, getting product stuck in between and everything. Like, I need everything to be on my face. Okay, I got the concealer all blend in. Now, usually I would like to go in with two different concealers and mix them, but I obviously I could not do that this time, and that is okay. We're gonna go ahead and move on into powder. Okay, moving on to powder for powder, I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place powder, Kalahari. Now, this is gonna be a little tough because I want to make sure I get under my eyes really, really good, and I wanna, you know, set my entire face. And I only get one freaking dip. Ooh, I think I got a good bit on there. I think I got a good bit on there. Start with under eyes. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's already running out, y'all. Oh my God. It already ran out. No. I am blending, blending, blending. Trying to blend as much as I can. I know I look crazy, guys. I look hella crazy. But I needed to make sure my face was set to the gods. Okay? You girl can't. You gotta make sure it's set to the gods. To the gods. That part. Okay, I'm gonna take a little brush and dust this in. I said dust this in. I meant blend this in. Now it's time to move on to eyebrows. Now. For eyebrows, I be having all different types of ways I do my eyebrows. And I'm gonna be trying a new product for my eyebrows. I'm gonna be trying this Morph um, Brow Cream. It is by Morph, like I said, and it is in the color Java. Now, I tried another color before, but it was way too dark, and I just bought this one and picked this one up. And I'm gonna try this one. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one freaking dip. What dip? <laughs> One dip, one dip, sounds impossible for me. When it comes to my brows, I am very precise. I try to take my time, a lot of details, and yeah, I'm here and I can only do one dip. When deciding on my eyebrows, I thought about almost using a powder, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with what I got now. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my one dip, Ooh, I gotta make sure it's a good dip. Okay, there we go. Ooh, 
that already doesn't look like enough product. Okay. So I guess my eyebrows are not gonna be as detailed as they normally are. I'm just gonna have to just fill them in and make them look as natural as possible. So here we go. I'm gonna start with the back, the end of them. Oh my God, this makes me so nervous. Almost like literally holding my breath. Okay, I'm not gonna take all the product. I'm just gonna move on to the other eyebrow and then whatever I have left, I'll blend it in on the other side. So I wanna make sure I have enough for doing the ends of my eyebrows because that's where I need it the most. It's already running out of product. OMG! Oh my God, y'all, I've already run. All right, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna try to make it work. We're gonna push a little bit harder. It's like I'm almost like trying to push this into my skull that's it that's all <sighs> no i wish there was more eyebrows in one dip and y'all look at me i'm still trying i'm still trying to make it happen that's it y'all look at that look at my eyebrows one dip i definitely think i need more product <laughs> on my eyebrows but this is, this is as good as it's going as much as I would want to dip and keep doing my brows. Now I'm gonna go in with some eyebrow gel by NYX Control Freak. I wish I had me a brow gel, but I don't know where I put my brow gel because then I could just dip and do my brow gel, but I can't do that because I can't find a brow gel. So we're just gonna use this Control Freak. So here we go, one dip. Like I, I use this thinking that it would help kind of like spread out my eyebrows the eyebrow a little bit but I guess that did okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my eyebrows which is about to be a little hectic too because I can only do it one time so what concealer am I going to use I think I'm going to use uh, my LA girl Pro conceal in the color fawn oh this is almost out I got my concealer here I'm gonna dip it one good time Ooh, come on get some on there okay Oh, I think I got a lot. That was a lot, but I'm gonna make it work. Oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna get that off. Can I, okay, oh, woo, okay, so here we go. Oh my God, it's a lot of product. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna outline both sides. Okay, okay guys, I think, I think this is working. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I was, ever, I was able to do that. I still got a little bit of product left on here. I literally took a big dip of the concealer and I thought it was way too much because obviously I put way too much on my eyes. It's like, how the hell am I gonna spread it out? But I think it came out great. And I actually had enough um, left on the brush as well. So okay, LA Girl Pro Concealer coming in the room for your girl. I do have a little bit left on the stick for the um, eyebrows and I'm just gonna use that little bit of concealer to use that as my primer. So I don't need to dip anything because I'm using the same one dip that I did from the concealer for my eyebrows to prime my eyelids before I move into eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna go here and here and I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, Okay. so I think I'm gonna go for a colorful look today because I don't really do many looks that are colorful. I try to stick to natural looks as much as possible. So I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Warrior 3 palette. Um, I've only used this palette one time, so I'm really excited to use this and I think I'm also gonna use another palette, but I'm gonna start off with the Warrior 3 Juvia's palette. Juvia's face? is bomb. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my first dip. I'm gonna go in with Jarawa. Jarawa, it's this color here. And yeah, I wanna get one little dip. So I'm gonna grab me a brush here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my one little dip. I am literally gonna try to scratch the hell out of this thing. Get my one little dip, squish it around a little bit. And Oh my God, that's all I freaking get, y'all. All right, we're gonna make it work though. I'm gonna start right here on the corner into my crease. I'm gonna come over here and do a little bit into my crease. <laughs> okay, I guess 
We're gonna make it do what it do. Okay, so I'm gonna start blending this in. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's literally already running out. O M G. I'm gonna blend just as much as I can. Oh my god, this is this is the part that I was worried about in the challenge because I need to dip in my eyeshadow. Especially for darker skin tones, you have to dip more than once. And that is just me. OMG. One dip for two eyes. I think that blended pretty good, but I would like to dip at least one more time. I'm going to take this color here, this yellow golden color right here. It is Nzinga. I think, or Nzinga color. And this time, I'm gonna try what Nikki did in her video. I'm gonna use my finger and try to smush this into my fingers like I've never smushed anything before. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, I don't think. Woo, let's see how I did, because that literally a little bit fell off my finger once I picked it up. So let's go ahead and see. So I'm gonna do a little bit on this sun. Oh my God, it's falling now, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, let's see if I can take some off this one. Put it on here. Okay, there we go, there we go. I got a little bit left on my finger, but I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna blend it out. Oh my God, that is literally nothing. You can't even see it. I need more. Okay, I got a little bit on my finger. Let's see if I can. OMG, y'all. I think my finger soaked up more. You cannot even see that. Look at that. <laughs> that really sucked. I'm gonna take a brush and knock it off. I think the bottom of my eye got more than the freaking lid of my eye. That, like, that was horrible. You can literally only see it slightly. Ah, that did not work out in my favor. Okay, I wanted to go with like another little orange. So I'm gonna take my ColourPop palette in Soul and I'm gonna dip right here in this bright little orange right here. Ooh, I'm gonna try to like scratch it in there. There we go. That work. Let's just take that and blend it out a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Okay, I actually like how that blended out. Okay. That worked in my favor a little bit. I would like for it to be a little bit brighter, but it will have to do keep pushing that in there so I can get as much product up as possible. <laughs> Y'all like, <laughs> I think that came out good. Now that little dip into that Soul palette by ColourPop did me some good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Now I wanna take like another yellow and put that into the inner corner of my eye. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into my Nomad palette by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna be working with this yellow here. It doesn't have a name. But I'm gonna dip in there one time. Okay. Ooh, I don't think that did anything. Ooh, you can barely see it. Oh my God, for darker skin tones, this challenge is definitely harder. Like I need more product. Oh, it's horrible. Now I'm gonna take yellow again and I'm just gonna dip it one time. That's all. And I'm gonna also put that into the eye corner just to like give it some oomph. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this little orangey, brassy color here and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of my lids. Oh, let's get a good little bit. Oh, that was not a good little bit, y'all. That was nothing, but we're gonna make it work. You know what, I'm gonna tap it on first. Y'all, this, I mean, so far I think it looks good, but you know, 
this is a little bit hard to do. Other people make it look so easy, but it's not easy. Most of you probably will go ahead and do a liner. I do not do good with wing liners. That's something I will have to practice and keep practicing and keep practicing. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into mascara. For mascara, I am going to be using this Lausanne, La Lausanne Beauty. I totally don't know if I'm saying it right, so please don't kill me. I'm so sorry. But I won this in a contest. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this, and whatever comes out on the stick is what I can use. So okay, that's a good little bit. Now let's go ahead and put that on. Let's make it spread. Let's put some on this up first. And this piece this okay. This is scary. It's a lot of product on here. I totally forgot about my bottom lash. Oh, oh my, my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to make it work. I forgot about my bottom lash. And then these two lashes wanna stick together. No. Okay, let me go ahead and do my bottom lash. Whatever's left. Which is not that much. There was not a lot of product left for that bottom lash. I think that is good enough. Like, this product is actually really good. Me likey, me likey. Okay, moving on to lashes. For lashes, I am using my Ardell Lashes 120 Demi. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place those on. Now, since I use hair glue, track glue for glue on my lashes. I'm literally just gonna take one little squirt and that is what I have to use for my lashes. So, hope it's a good squirt. That came out so wrong, but here we go. And that is all I can use for my lashes, right there. I suck at putting on lashes, so hopefully I do good, guys. I'm gonna take my uh, powder uh, by Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and this is the color 365 Nutmeg. I'm going to just dip my brush in there, get a little bit, little bit on there. Okay, I'm not even gonna tap it. I'm just gonna put it on. 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 So I'm gonna put some here. I'm gonna pat it. Ooh, here. Okay. Okay, I think that worked. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. That worked out perfectly. So I am gonna contour my nose just a little bit. I'm gonna be going in with my NYX finishing powder to do that. And I'm gonna take a good bit. Try to dip it in there really, really good. There we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna slightly dust it off. Cause we got, you know, some excess in there. Head in and I'm gonna dust it off at the same time. Okay, there we go, that worked out perfectly. I'm happy with that. All right, moving on. Time for me to go in with some blush. I'm gonna be taking my Bella Blush by Juvia's Place. I'm just gonna take and do, mm -mm. And that's it. Tap my tap the rest off of there and just blend it in. That came out good. Perfect. I never use that much blush. When I use blush, I literally don't never use that much blush. So that was a perfect one dip for me. So I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm going to dip into my highlighter by Juvia Place. It's called Heroin. And usually I would use a highlighter brush, but obviously I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use a bigger brush because I only get one dip and I like to highlight the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, the, the top of my lip, obviously highlight where it goes here and kind of like the brow bone up here. So I'm gonna dip this. Hopefully I get a good bit on there. And that is it. Here, put a little bit here. Tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, here. And my lip. 
And then I'm just gonna put the rest right here. I had to make that spread, y'all. I had to make that spread. Okay, got a little bit left on here. I'm gonna go ahead and pat in there. This is a highlight moment. There we go, okay, okay, highlighted. I think I'm gonna go in with my Judas Place um, matte lipstick. It is called Afric. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna get one swatch. I usually do not wear lipstick, but I am gonna go ahead and put on a lipstick. So let's see what comes out on the stick. Okay, here we go. Okay, Juvia's place did not disappoint. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of product on here. I'm glad I chose Juvia's place. Okay, now I think I wanna go in with a gloss. Okay, now I want to add a gloss. I don't have a lot of glosses that have a stick. So I'm just gonna take this Kylie Cosmetic Popping Lip Gloss. That's all I get and we're just gonna have to make it work, so. I'm dabbing it on because I want all the product I can get off of there. I would like a little bit more lip gloss to make it a little bit more popping, but yeah. So we are now gonna move on to setting spray. Obviously I only get one pump of setting spray, so hopefully when I press this, a good bit comes out. So here we go. I need it all to follow me. Thank you. And okay, this is the finished look. I am all done. Um, I think this challenge was super fun. It was very challenging for me. Um, again, I'm no professional when it comes to makeup at all. It really made me think about how much makeup I actually use. <laughs> um, being able to not do as much makeup as I would usually use. Now, this look, I think it came out great. Like I said, um, I don't think this is the best look that I've ever done. I don't think it's the worst look that I've ever done because I gotta remember, when I first started doing makeup, honey, yeah, we'll talk about that in a whole other video. But I really do think this came out great. Now, I don't think I've ever been um, one of those females that pal my face with makeup, but it definitely makes you think about how much makeup you put on your face. So, yeah. So, I want to start doing something a little bit different in my videos. I want to start giving out shout outs in the beginning of my videos. So, if you think that's a good idea or have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below as well. And yes, this is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoy. Again, make sure you are subscribed to my channel thumbs up this video and like i say in all my videos i will see you guys in my next video